Okay, we're going for the double flip. We're not even starting with one pancake, we're going for the double. Oh! oh that one did have won, and that food, oh. just this food, it's food for Louis. Welcome back to Food for Louis. I have a very special guest with me today. This is my friend Andrew Seeley. He yeah. is like a acro yoga extraordinaire, um, vegan wizard. What else? I mean, I love to cook vegan food. I love to practice yoga. I love to bring people into incredible atmospheres where they can tap into their mind, their bodies, and their spirits and just have fun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so he's gonna teach me today how to make vegan pancakes. Have you got a special name for your pancakes? These are Sealy Signature Pancakes, baby. There you go. And to accompany the pancakes, a kale salad. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited. Tell me, what do we do? How do we do this? So first things first, we've got our ingredients. We've got some Japanese purple potatoes. We've got two cucumbers. We've got two Beyond Meat sausage. Some fresh thyme, because you can never have enough thyme. True, true. <laughs> our Bob's Red Mill gluten-free vegan pancake mix. Bam, grade A maple syrup, baby. Coconut milk. And three ripe peaches. <laughs> this is our bone sucking mustard sauce. This is a very secret ingredient. Okay. Lots of people don't know about the bone sucking mustard Lots sauce. Lots of people do now, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is no longer a secret. So we've got our seasonings. I love turmeric. It's my number one seasoning here. And we've got some pumpkin mix with has pumpkin spice. Cinnamon, nutmeg, you know, your regular old pumpkin spices. Yeah. And then we've got our herbs de Provence, because I know how fancy you are. So. Yeah, I'm pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> and another secret ingredient, my homegirl Cholula coming through. I'm a big fan of Cholula. Oh, really? Like, yeah, yeah. although I'm, what I'm confused about at the moment, there seems to be some really like clashing ingredients here. We've got like sausages or Beyond Meat sausages and peaches and spicy sauce. Like how is this? I'm kind of intrigued how this is going to pan out. Is it going to be spicy pancakes with sausages? Uh, well, I'm a yogi and okay. it's all about yolking. You know, you got to bring all components together. Ah. So you will soon see how they all coordinate. Okay, I'm plates. super intrigued. I'm super <laughs> intrigued. Okay, what's first? Talk me through this. First things first, we're going to go ahead and make the mix. So I take this gluten for mix, go ahead and pop it open like so. This is our mixing bowl for the day. So we're going to put one pound of mix one can of coconut milk. Do you need me to open this can for you? Yes, please. I have please. a special can opener. It's what the, the la it's, it's the lazy man's can opener. You and don't even, you plug it in? Yeah. Come on, Louie, come it's on. It's an electric can opener. I but was you like, could open this can with your bare hands. I know, it's probably not the, yeah, so you just hook it in there and then. Oh, that is pretty gangster. That is pretty cool, isn't it? You no, know, this is what happens when you move to America. Yeah, okay, <laughs> super lazy. Boom. Oh, oh. There you go. Bam! I like that though. Okay, so I'm always so in. proud showing people that. So this serves as your butter. And the reason that I like this more than butter, obviously, because mm. I'm vegan first off, and then second off because it serves as healthy fats. It's the good stuff. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? That is great. Right? Right out of the can. Magic! Then we're gonna put our spices. So we've got some turmeric. I like lots of turmeric. It brings out a really pretty color in the pancakes. And not only that, turmeric is great for anti-inflammatory. Isn't it a bit, if you have too much turmeric, isn't it a bit like a laxative as well? Or is it the opposite? I didn't say that. I mean, I don't know. We'll just have to find out, won't we? I think I found that out the hard way once. <laughs> So we've got our pumpkin spice. By the way, this isn't laxative pancakes. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm just saying, if you eat, if you ate that whole thing, I think, I think. Louis has been angry at his roommates lately. <laughs> uh, so this uh, cinnamon, ginger, cloves, and nutmeg, pumpkin spice. I can now help, I can help you just out. a simple fork like so, and you're gonna get to mixing. Do you want me to do some mixing? Yep. You're all about the mixing. Okay. I always like to do the pancake mix first, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour. <laughs> syrup in here. And the peaches will go ahead and go into the syrup and we're going to make a compote and that compote is going to go on top of the pancakes. Mm -hmm. So once you get it to the point where you can't like mix it thoroughly anymore, yeah. we're going to actually begin to add water. 
Yeah, I was thinking this is pretty, pretty thick. <laughs> so the peaches, I like to cut them in thirds like so. And then from those thirds, dice them up into small squares. Mm -hmm. Ah! No. What was it? Five second rule. Five second rule. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> How good is that peach though? Oh my gosh. Those are July fire mm. peaches straight from the farmer's market. Mm. I like to use the skin of the peach as well because it gives a good texture and also most of the vitamins are in the skin. I did not know that. Really? Mm. Yeah. I think that's actually the oranges too. Yeah. Most it's of the vitamins true. are in, most, most yeah, in the skin. skin. Yeah. 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 But they also have like tons of chemical and wax on them and stuff like that. <laughs> oh no, well these ones are straight from the farmer's market. So but this will probably be bad to eat the skin, right? No, the farmer's market as well. I would eat the skin on that. Yeah? Yeah, try it out. Oh, <laughs> that was supposed to be our dressing for our salad, man! <laughs> How is it? Mmm, it's pretty good though, right? It's got some sweetness to it. Yeah. Taking a bite out. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a weird fact, okay? When I was a kid, I used to eat the, the peel from oranges because I thought it gave me superpowers. <laughs> I think maybe it did give me superpowers. Hey, okay, look at where you're at now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't uh, don't go eating all the orange peel now because I don't make, make people ill, but <laughs> maybe, maybe it's got superpowers. Nice. Okay, how much water am I adding to this mixture? So I would go ahead and Should I get a cup or something? No, 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 no. We're all no, about just, okay, teaching I'm just gonna, people to use their intuition. So. Okay, I'm just gonna go intuitively here. Yep, get the pour going. It's called teamwork makes dream work. Yep, keep it rolling. We got filtered and unfiltered water, just a clean <laughs> mix, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I didn't let the water fully filter through. <laughs> you know the other thing I have, which, this guy. Ah, oh, we don't want it. We don't want it. <laughs> but look. We, but look, come on, this is a workout, man. But this is an electric Vegan wish. food is a workout. Yeah, true, but also listen to this. <laughs> Wait. Look. Ah, uh, see, it doesn't work. You see? Wait, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Some kind of vibrator or something? <laughs> I don't know if I want that in my pancakes. All right, ready? Am I ruining your pancakes? I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> other than that. making a bunch of noise. Okay, okay, let's. <laughs> I think the fork's fine, you don't need one of these. <laughs> okay. You see the consistency here? Okay. So it's got like a, it's got a good dribble to it, you know? Mm -hmm. You can put it on the pan and it'll still stay in the same size as so the it's pancake. A bit, it looks a bit thicker than custard, kind of that kind of consistency. Exactly. Out of interest, how many, I think we might have said this earlier, but how many people do you think this will serve? At least six. Nice. Yeah, at least six people or will Or like two pancakes. people really, that are really hungry. Probably three people okay. that are really hungry. Okay. That, that, that's gonna make like a good, you know, 12 to 16 pancakes. Oh, that's amazing. A little bit of oil. Nice. And before you put the potatoes in there, give me a second. Okay. And I'll show you what to do with these guys. You're just going to strip some of the stops like that. So probably like a... Triple that. Okay. Yep. I also do, don't really know what time tastes like. Ooh, try it out. Mmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, that's nice. I love time. Okay. Nice. Should I turn that one on as well? Yeah. And then we can actually turn down this guy here. I'm trying my best. Should I keep going? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah, that looks good. And then you're going to go ahead and, yeah. Now you can put the, yeah. Just watch, watch the bubble. There you go. Nice. Flop them around a little bit. Look at that. Nice I'm getting the, the oil is like spitting and, and getting me. Makes you strong. <laughs> Vegan cooking makes you strong. Don't you want to be strong? <laughs> what we're secretly doing with the orange that you ate. Yeah. Is it, there's some other ones here, there's, there's a better, I don't know if these are better. Mm, this looks pretty good. Okay. Sorry, I ate a really good one, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so you're gonna cut them like this, and what that does is it actually 
cuts open all the little granules that have the juice in them. Mm. And now you're gonna squeeze this into the pot that has the sweet potatoes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Pancake number one. Pancake number one. We'll let those guys simmer until you start to get the bubble. Yeah. Once you start to get the bubble, that's when we flip. And for this guy, we can just put the lid on them so that we can keep the moisture inside the potatoes. And what that'll do is it'll soften the potatoes faster. Okay. Yeah. So we're kind of getting to that point where it's nice and brown on the edges. Bam. Oh yeah. Look. Oh yeah. That's a wild flip right there. There we go, that's a good flip. <laughs> One of Andrew's other special skills is, I want to say acrobatics, but how would you describe it? Movement? Yeah, yoga. Yoga. Yoga, yoga acrobatic is Acrobatic yoga. yoga. Um, <laughs> so I thought he could demonstrate some cool things while some, while some... Yeah, you want to chop that last yeah. cucumber? Yeah, I'll, ch I'll, I'll chop this. Okay, so you you, you do skills. some kitchen yoga. Yeah, this is all about, you know, really taking your yoga to the next level. <laughs> wow. And if you ever need any help, I always have a helping hand here. So. Careful for that light. You're good though. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Okay, I've chopped the cucumber. Do you know, interesting fact, in the UK, we don't really have those small cucumbers. We only have these big ones, like the British cucumbers. <laughs> and I never realized cucumbers and pickles are the same vegetable. Yeah. Because they're, they're small. So I was like, oh, they're just baby cucumbers. What the heck? At what age did you find out that they were the same? Last year. <laughs> when I came to America <laughs> living year. here, I was like, the, all these cucumbers, all these pickles are like, I was like, what vegetable is this? They're like, that's a cucumber. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I think these are, I think these are almost done. Yeah, those are perfect. Nice. Good timing. All right, a little potato. See if it's ready. I think that's ready. Yeah? Yeah. Consistency is good. Maybe a little bit longer? Okay, we can leave them a little longer then. A little longer? Yeah, perfect. Right, I'm gonna scoop the next batch. So you, do you have it all the way to the top like that? Uh, yeah, you can do it all the way to the top. Just, yeah, make sure there's no dribbles that go on. There we go. So you're making a clean pancake. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I can see this getting really messy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got a little I'd say at that size, we're probably just going to keep it to two. <laughs> yeah? These are yeah. Really I did I go quite yeah. big. Yeah, you were pretty okay. big. Yeah, next time I'll go, I'll get a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. I could do two good. little baby ones. Let me do yeah, two little yeah, baby ones. Yeah, You hit the Mickey Mouse ears if you want to, you know. You could even make your own fun with Louie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cute. Potatoes are probably ready. Yeah. So I'm just gonna take them from here and put them directly on top of our kale. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nice, oh. look at those skills. Oh. oh, I think I slammed it too hard because it like <laughs> squidged around the edge. Let me get this one. Oh, oh <laughs> it slipped off. Hey, it's good, it landed, it though. landed okay. Nice, wait, let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clip these Beyond Meat sauces. Oh yeah. Oh. So Beyond Meat, what's, do you know the ingredients of how Beyond Meat's made? To yeah, North so North. these are made out of uh, pea protein and fava beans. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's try it then. <laughs> He's a wild man. It's not too bad, I'm, I'm assuming it's better cooked, but it's not too bad raw. <laughs> you need to test things, you know, you need to experiment. I'm trying to add like. Is that Mickey Mouse? I'm trying to make a little. Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to make a little sunflower. Oh, oh, it's too hot. Okay, this this did not work at all. This is look. Like, looks like a pile of slime. <laughs> That's your pancake. Okay, this is my one. <laughs> That's a real mess. Okay, with some peach syrup on it, I'm sure it'll be okay. good. I'm gonna make a donut. <laughs> oh, this did not work. It might, it might make a donut. Yeah, I'm adding your favorite ingredient to the Beyond Meat sausage, okay. a little bit of Cholula. Give it that spice. It's my girl, it's my girl right there. 
gonna have a look at this. It's beyond me. Mmm, that smells delicious. How long do you wait until they, did you say just until you start seeing the bubbles? Yeah, you'll see the bubbles and then they'll get a pretty brown around the edges and that's when I know that they're ready. Okay. This isn't yeah. gonna be the most beautiful stack of pancakes, but you know. <laughs> Can I try some of this? Yeah. Let's see if it's better cooked than when I it's I would raw. definitely give it a blow before you. <laughs> it is hot. Mmm, definitely better cooked. Definitely better cooked. Nice. Ooh, a nice spicy kick as well. Yeah, you like that, huh? It's a Cholula. You want to put the cucumbers in last so that they don't get mushy and mm. soggy. You want to keep them crisp and crunchy. It's stuck. It's stuck with the spatula. Okay. I kind of want to do that thing where you flip the pancakes. Should we try it? How bad do you want the pancakes? Okay, we're going for the double flip. We're not even starting with one pancake, we're going for the double. I'm not gonna try that again. Yeah. I think we I think we tested that. Let me see if I can get this. Damn. See if I'll copy your vibe. So you've got like a little fan of a little fan of um, peaches. Mm -hmm. And I'm then a fan of peaches. Did you this comes last, right? You want to put the syrup no, on? No, I like last. to put the syrup on. Okay, okay. And then kinda like, yeah, drizzle it with some of the peaches on top. Yep. Just like this. Exactly. And make sure you get some over here too. Yeah, nice. Yep. And the rest just juice. Yeah. That's like perfect, nice and perfect. And then we'll do a nice little yep. load of uh, salad there. We've got the kale, we've got the Beyond Meat, we've got the purple sweet potatoes, we've got the thyme. Yeah, that's perfect right there. And the cucumbers. Bam! Yeah. Chefing it up. That's all right, you know. Dude, that looks great. <laughs> Moment of truth. I'm a traditionalist, so I'm gonna try the, uh, I'm gonna try the savory part first. Get a bit of that beyond sausage and mm -hmm. pepper sweet potato. That's a great bite right there. You wanna tuck in? Mm -hmm. See what we got going. Oh. It's falling. It has got a kick. That that and Cholula. Mm. Mm. I'm a big fan of spicy, but oh man. Guys, just if you were just making a salad, that, forget the pancakes for the moment, but just a salad as a standalone dish is incredible. Awesome. Okay, now I'm gonna tuck into a big mouthful Pancake of this pancake. Time. You gotta get the peach in there. Yeah, too. I'm gonna get in this whole peach slice. Oh, it's really soggy with uh, with that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> heaven is a place on earth. I literally just went to heaven. <laughs> Bro. Bro. That's the best pancake I've ever had. Yeah! I'm not even kidding We did kidding it, you. we <laughs> did it! It's time for Ben, Sam, and Fish to try them. We're gonna save some for Raya later on. Woo! The peaches. <laughs> Peachy oh <my> pancakes. <laughs> Whoa! Fish went in. He knows about the pancake taco. These are like transformative, they're amazing. <laughs> How would you describe this for people watching that don't, aren't tasting what we're I feel doing? like I've never tasted anything like it. It is like a pancake, but then it's also like fruit mixed into one. And it's done, but it doesn't taste like a fruit pancake. So I'd definitely describe it as not a fruit pancake. So that's one thing it is not. <laughs> it's what? like the texture of a cloud in your mouth. Like, yeah, like a warm sunny cloud. I'm having a spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. I'm eating this and it, it's, it's tart and it's sweet and it's just like the tiniest bit crispy right where it was seared on the pan. It, it, it's just begging to be eaten. <laughs> I always say they're just the right amount of crepe, just the right amount of cake. Magical pancakes, straight from the heart. That's what makes them best. Okay, the pancakes were an amazing success. What did you think, Scout? Good? Okay, no. Scout. <laughs> Thanks again, bro, for Dude, anytime. sharing the love, sharing the secret pancake recipes. Guys, you were let into that secret. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace.